just going to not run over the rollerblader. I love that I'm seeing people out here in the neighborhood doing things. an older established neighborhood it does not have sidewalks I don't know if that is important to you guys or not it is not super hot today but the humidity is insane it's like four million percent humidity As far as this area goes, um, it, not, again, not necessarily the neighborhood, but where you will be once you leave the neighborhood. Actually, I think I was supposed to turn there. It's all right. We'll explore more. Explore more of the neighborhood. right here is a giant antique mall. So, just went straight out of the neighborhood. Um, and now I'm going to take you right here. There's a lot of restaurants and a lot of shopping. Um, and you are maybe two minutes away from the Virginia Beach Town Center. Um, so restaurants, bars, shopping, um, it is also where I work, so I'm a little bit more familiar with this area. You technically have a mall, uh, it's called the Pembroke Mall, but personally I think malls are kind of a thing of the past. Um not a ton of stores that are left inside but you do have a couple of places surrounding the area like I don't know like Nordstrom Rack you have an REI you have a Target um, just a little bit more things to do places to go things to see in the area as well um, one of my favorite plant nurseries is right up and around the corner maybe about seven minutes away but such good food. You are were, you were so close to uh, a lot of non-chain restaurants. And unfortunately, you see a lot of those chain restaurants here in Virginia, especially in Chesapeake. Uh, but Virginia Beach, in my opinion, does a decent job at kind of trying to get away from that. Um, so those buildings right up there, uh, up and past that is going to be the entrance to the interstate. So I've, what have I been filming for about five minutes? So I would say it's probably about an eight or nine minute drive uh, just to hop on the interstate. So let me know what you guys think.